Uh, but let's talk about Jay Ajayi going to Philadelphia because I think you and I thought Philly would make some sort of move. Mm -hmm. I didn't predict that this would be it to get help at the running back position. They give up a fourth-round pick in exchange to get Ajayi. Um, when you look at what they're doing now, and this is the official trade here, is this the right move to you of what they're doing? Yeah, I, I believe so. When you look at Philadelphia right now, our tops of their division, seven and one, they feel like the window of opportunity is there for them. Mm -hmm. So they're pushing all their chips in for this season to try to get to a championship. And when you look at what Jay Ajayi will provide for them, along with the other backs they currently have there, they will be able to really just use a lot of clock late in ball games with that ground yeah. attack. I felt like maybe addressing the injuries on the offensive line would have been more of a bigger priority, mm -hmm. but clearly they believe they believe they have the guys in place offensive line-wise, losing Jason Peters that can get them over the hump. And I guess if you're Miami, you say, well, we drafted the guy a couple of years ago with a fifth-round pick, mm -hmm. so we do technically get a higher pick for a guy that maybe he's got some bad knees. Yeah. There's been some rumors. They're concerned about his health going forward. We'll find out if this deal works out. But as you can see, it is a very crowded backfield now in Philadelphia with Jay Ajayi getting there. Now, for how they're going to plan on handling all of this, uh, the VP of Football Ops, Harry Roseman, had this to say. We like our running back group. You know, this was an opportunity that came to us that we thought was a good player um, who could add to our team, uh, a young player uh, who's under contract for the next couple of years. And um, at the same time, uh, everyone's seen the way LeGarrette's run. Um, Wendell's had really good games for us. Corey. Um, we brought Kenyon back as well, so um, it just adds to the group and all that stuff. Playing time is sorted out by the coaches, but um, LeGarrette continues to be our starter and um, just really excited to have that group and add a good player. Well, LeGarrette's uh, been productive when he's gotten the ball. He's uh, a warrior. Uh, he's a two-time Super Bowl champion, um, and we're really glad to have him. So, um, you know, I really shouldn't get into kind of starter roles. That's really up to the coaches, but... Um, we're counting on LeGarrette here going forward. This is no reflection of any of those running backs. This was a good opportunity for the Philadelphia Eagles, and our job is to add good players who fit what we do, and um, we believe that uh, JHI does that. Okay, so it looks like you're still going to go with LeGarrette Blunt. That's what they say is yeah. the starter. Does that really matter? Because JHI is going to – you're not bringing him in there to just be a, a backup to LeGarrette Blunt. Yeah, and also, too, you got to realize something. LeGarrette Blunt, is, he's only on a one-year deal. Mm. You know, he just emphasized, Howie, that Jay Ajayi still has multiple years left under his current contract. So, yes, we're adding to the competition now. But this is a future move, especially if Jay Ajayi can remain healthy. There's a good chance LeGarrette Blunt may not be a part of the Philadelphia Eagles in 2018. Wow. But yet and still, you still have a starting running back with experience, a guy that has been to a Pro Bowl, yeah. and a guy, when healthy, he could be one of the more dominating running backs in the NFL. This will be a very interesting mix in Philadelphia. Look, you're still getting a quality player here, and you're 7-1, and one, looking pretty good right now. It <laughs> yeah. can't hurt to have Jay Ajayi there, that's for sure.